Often when you dream vividly about what you want to do and you start planning, questions come overflowing your way. How are you going to do this? How exactly is it going to work? How is this dream going to pass? How exactly are you going to achieve these goals? The truth of the matter is that I have never known. I never know how my actions will exactly turn out in the future. I only have to believe everything will turn out the best as long as I signed up with my heart. Believe me, you, conviction is the key to all. Do I believe the vision is a masterpiece? Yes. It's bridging a gap in some unwanted situation? Yes. It's going to spark a healthy conversation? Yes. I can wake up in the middle of the night, regardless of how tired I am, and kick some life into it? Yes. When all that falls in place, I pick up the wheelbarrow and start pushing. It's time for me to listen to my heart and embark on a journey headed to destinations driven by purpose. I have always found life to be an encounter, and so is art. See, <laughs> I... After 20 years of exploring social justice themes around reconciliation, forgiveness and justice, or domestic violence, to mention but a few, my biggest question has been, how do components of the human chamber work? Especially the heart and mind. So I stopped questioning how things are going to work and instead focused on one major question. What does being human mean? Each time we breathe, we bow with the present, and before we know, we are left with the future as now. The past is shaped, the present is gone. They say humans are like pens, and each time that passes, we write history. In 2020, I have learned to stay in the unknown space and keep walking. Some of us have written on blurry canvas. Others have become the pen of inaction and of fading ink. Yet the clock keeps ticking with the tides, and before we know, Christmas lights will light up the world. At this point in time, we are falling apart, afraid to take risks, forgetting our talents, neglecting our art. We can sit and think about tomorrow and make strategic plans, but truth be told, the future holds its own pen. Our future starts today, right now, in this moment. Don't let it be in vain. Now is the time to break them barriers. Uh, 20 years ago, I embarked on a journey of starting a theater company that would use art as a tool for social transformation. It all started with a script I had written for my university thesis. The subject was about unit and reconciliation in Rwanda. 20 years down the road, Mashirika Performing Arts and Media Company is counting 200 productions with a professional pool of talents in the country. Around 2013, I was approached to shift gears from success to significance by Africa Leadership Initiative. I was encouraged to do a leadership course for two years. We were supposed to sign out with a legacy-driven project then. Ubumun, was, Ubumun Arts Festival was born. It was created for the sake of humanity and takes place every July at the Kigali Genocide Memorial, where 250,000 innocent victims of genocide against Tutsi were laid to rest. I thought this was the best place to talk about crimes against humanity. But again, I found myself facing the question, why here? In the last six years, over 55 countries have graced the festival and both programs were driven by the childlike faith of a child chasing butterflies in the wilderness. My mother played a big part in keeping the child in me playful. She constantly reminded us not to worry about things we can't change, like tomorrow. Because when you worry too much, you restrict yourself. But do good and value every moment, and most importantly, to let the child in us breathe and be. She has been gone two years, but the seeds she planted grow every day. One great gift she radiated to the world was that of kindness and empathy. She read and felt people beyond her rim. I wrote this poem so I can share a glimpse of her legacy. 
It's called run and play my child. Run and play my child. Follow your faith. Fear not to stumble. You are born to fly. Free your spirit, fly like an eagle, sing with the birds, float above, be and let be. Breathe the life of life, times by gone is a time gone, my child. Run and play, stumble and fall, roll and laugh, stand and breathe, run, run, run. I encourage you to keep running. Where there are mountains, you'll find valleys, and where there are thorns, you'll find roses. Let determination be your anchor. Don't listen to the negative voices defining you as useless. Nobody's born useless. Listen to the inner voices of hope clapping and cheering you on. I must, I can, and I will, because you can. We are all born a masterpiece, and because we are born a masterpiece, we are not victims, but victors. I wish you all the very best in the times ahead. God bless you.